Oh, mate, I'm looking forward to this one because we're not breaking any new grounds with this one. This is a mod that a lot of people have done. One of my first ever mods was doing exactly what we're doing today. We're doing a transparency kit. I think it's one of the reasons why iPods have stuck around for so long is that people keep making cool stuff to do with these. But check it out, we got a transparent front case. Ooh, yeah. And even better, transparent click wheel. How cool does that look? This is a future stuff right there. And the small touches, this unnecessary large box for, it's like the world's saddest lolly or something. Uh. A clear button. So if you're looking to get these yourself, look in the video description here. Elite obsolete dudes stock to the gills with all sorts of iPod stuff. And even better, if you cannot be bothered to do this yourself, or you don't even have an iPod to do it with, he's got pre-built in stock. So go and check him out, you know, if you want to get on board with this. So since this is such an up and down, straight ahead project, I predict no things will go wrong. Nothing at all. Oh, sorry, one great. <laughs> Show us shadow, mate, shadow. So if you're looking for a detailed guide on how to do this, go check out iFixit. And basically what we're doing is we're replacing the click wheel since the whole front has to come off for that anyways. So basically when you reassemble, you just use the cool parts that you want. And now for this, I do recommend gloving up. And I, and I love this packaging, right? So check it out, the illustration for using the sponge. It's the same illustration they used for handling a sandwich. Who handles a sandwich like this? So the reason why we want to glove up is the bare display is going to be out and we don't want to get any fingerprints on that otherwise have fun getting them off we also want to be careful of getting crumb fellows and dust lads in there you know because once you've sealed this up again you, know, you don't want to have to open this up again oh by the way this is the bluetooth ipod it woke up it's fine <laughs> Whereas in the last video I charged it and then went to do the video and it just didn't work. Well now it works again. No, I haven't even charged it since. Like, whatever. Alright mate, for this job we're gonna need a shovel and a screw doodler. In the corner mate. Get in there. Alright, oh, okay. Alright. I forgot about all this. <laughs> oh no. I hope this doesn't make this difficult. Ah, uh, this is totally gonna make this weird, isn't it? So what we gotta do is we gotta get all these screws out. And that's not a screwdriver. All right. That's gone. That's, that's lost to the wind. Do you know that made a break for it? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, we're one down. The farm's down to five. All right, so now we want to separate. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to bother taking off the headphone part because it's all tethered in anyway. Uh-huh. Come on, you. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Et voila. We don't want any crumbs getting on this. Now, the most annoying part is we're going to get this click wheel out. Normally, this thing would be free and it just, <laughs> that connector there, that's our click wheel. So the motherboard is glued to this chair seat. So we just got to push her out a little bit. This is, a, this is a total mess, actually. I totally forgot that, the, yeah, the Bluetooth iPod. All right, there's a little stick down bit here. All right, that comes off. Oh, we're in the thick of it now. Oh, this is a mod you should do before turning into a Bluetooth iPod. Hey, I haven't created a mess at all. So there's nothing wrong with these. I'm going to put them safely here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at them skills, mate. Oh, I'm so good. So I find the easiest way to get the button in is you flip it, show down, and now flip the iPod onto it and over. All right, now we're going to get this black section out of here. You have no idea how much harder this is with all the Bluetooth stuff soldered to it. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Easy does it, mate. Easy does it. Easy does it! Oh! With all the screws that you didn't lose, it's time to put them back in. If you have lost one, like, it's not a big deal. Just make sure you put them in the corners, you know? All right, here we go. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Battery connector felt unhappy. We're going to try again. Oh, no! Oh god, the fiasco begins! There's something about this setup that this iPod's really, really hating. I'm not putting up with that sitting down! Yeah, that's what I thought. Eh? Huh? Come on! 
God! All right. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what a shame. It looks so good. <sighs> Come on, we're almost done. Yes! All right, so my rule is before you button it up completely, you gotta have it playing something. And you know what, let's get it charging because I don't trust it. This thing's all over the place. And since this has no headphone jack, this is the Bluetooth iPod. Who do you think it's gotta have a quick word to? Mm -hmm. Come on, sweetie. Device paired. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. Scroll, dang it, scroll. It crashed, let's get back in there. Yes, woohoo. Power off. Mm, until next time, my love. Last bit to do. Check that out, how mad does that look? Absolutely awesome. Uh, you can get replacement back cases for these. You can even get inscribed ones for different amounts. Look, you can get brand new 128 gig ones, right? Go check out Elite Obsolete. This dude's got them all in stock. Well, there we are. That was a battle and a little bit with only a few mistakes. I love the little blue LED shining through the back. Thanks so much. Big thanks to these patrons. Uh, if you want to check out the after show, $1 a month for my patron. And I've got even more vids hanging out in there. Stay tuned. Heat's more to come. And I'll see you next time. No, I'm gonna show Frank what I've made. Frank, look what I've done. Will you finally be proud of me? Frank, look. Frank, look, 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 look what I did. Frank, are you alive?